Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, as it says in the title, uh, here's a uh, cold steel slip joint. This is the uh, cold steel Kudu Light. Uh, the story behind this knife, uh, if you remember way back, it's been a few months now, uh, when I got that uh, Watchman uh, knife, the uh, anchor knife that has the uh, ram's foot uh, blade on it, uh, and I got that when I got a uh, gift certificate to Amazon from work. So I got that, and this was what rounded out the uh, that order. So I could use the, uh, so for the uh, $25 gift certificate, I actually got two knives out of it. And uh, I think it was right at like $24.99, because these were, I think uh, the, I think they were like seven, and the other one was 15 and some change. So anyways, uh, Besides all that, uh, I got that, and this knife has been here for a while, like I said, but what an awesome freaking knife this is. Uh, I love the stylized kudu and kudu antler that's on here, or I don't know, do they have antlers or horns? I should have looked that up. It does have a nice half stop, real sturdy, and if you notice that the, uh, the tang of the blade is here, uh, where it meets the uh, spring because this is your only spring is this heavy spring that's on the back uh, But when you're choked up on there, you can have your your thumb up there and you would be able to tell if this spring is uh, You know starting to close on you or anything because you'd feel it uh, come up and also it helps hold it down in place You know, so it's an extra safety. It's not really a lock lock, but uh, you would feel it if it started to uh, to go but what a, one of the things I love about cold steel is they put a gigantic knife in like a super light package uh, with this uh, handles that they have. It's made of uh, Zyx is the material that they're saying some kind of uh, FRN. I would I would guess uh, you have just this gigantic knife. It's uh, four and a quarter inches this blade uh, with your you know, overall length of this guy, you're looking at 10 inches from the point to the uh, to the rear of the handle. You can, if you have a big hand, I don't think anybody except maybe Andre the Giant would be able to have this fit like it was a small slip joint or something. But if you needed extra reach, you can hold it way back here. You want to hold it in the middle, you can. Uh, like I said, you know, putting your thumb up on here uh, gives you some extra pressure to put on that spring. And the spring is not weak. I mean, you can hear it. That's a pretty good snap. So it's out there and it's staying out there. It's a little bit, uh, you can push on it with your thumb, you know, if you go way up here. But uh, like I said, this, this guy here is a beast, uh, definitely. Uh, yeah, you get the little stylized uh, kudu here on the... Uh, on the blade, I know it's hard to see with the uh, reflection from the from the light. I need to get a diffuser one day. <laughs> but uh, one of the things that uh, Lynn Thompson, when he was traveling through uh, South Africa and stuff, he noticed all the Okapi ring lock knives, and that was his inspiration for that. And the ring locks, of course, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, our knife historians, but I think the ring lock knives were first made in uh, Germany but I could be wrong about that. Uh, but let me know if you know. Uh, and then they just decided, hey, let's get rid of the of the ring lock and we'll just have the uh, the spring be on the back. And you don't need to, you know, you can use one hand with a ring lock to close it, but you know, this, you can just close like any slip joint, you know, and just put it up against your uh, leg or whatever and close it that way if you need to close it one-handed. Uh, of course, opening one-handed is not uh, not in the cards for a slip joint. We have a nice nail nick there. Huge clip point blade. Uh, this is made of uh, 5CR15 MOV steel. And just a fantastic uh, work knife. Uh, if you want to carry something light, these guys only weigh 2.7 ounces. 2.7 ounces for a 10-inch knife. 10-inch overall, sorry. Uh, I guess when you say knife, maybe some people just think of just the blade, but still, uh, super, super knife. 
And this is the kind of knife that, you know, being that most of the time these guys are, you know, six or seven dollars, depending on where you go and uh, what store you buy. And I know that uh, Smoky Mountain runs sales where if you buy so many dollars of uh, cold steel, you'll get a Kudu light thrown in as part of the uh, bonus. Uh, these are just a great knife. I mean, this is something for the toolbox, the tackle box, uh, something that you can give an older, you know, boy or, or teenager that is in your life that uh, you want to give them a knife that they could learn how to use a slip joint and learn how to sharpen and learn how to, you know, do knife maintenance and all that kind of good stuff. I mean, this would be a perfect tool because, you know, if they mess it up, screw it up, break it, whatever, uh, you know, it's only like seven bucks to replace. I plan on getting a couple more because uh, with that price, you know, and it being a pretty decent knife for that price, I, I can't see, you know, anybody going wrong with, uh, with getting one of these. It's just, uh, like I said, it's a really handy knife if you enjoy slip joints like I do. Uh, this just might be the ticket for you. I'm sure that a lot of you guys have this knife. Uh, let me know in the comments if you do and your experiences with it. And if uh, you happen to be watching, uh, you know, stuff we do, uh, let us know about these, uh, you know, what you think about these knives since you're from South Africa. You know, are they something that uh, you see as, as something that's... Uh, taking your heritage and expanding on it? Or is it something that uh, that you think it's kind of uh, not as good as what you can get locally? Kind of like to know the, the answer to that. Anyways, that's all I have for this one. I hope you have all enjoyed it. I, uh, I enjoy this knife. I hope you guys do too. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.